So that's where I'm gonna leave it. Enjoy your journey. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel and you're liking this information, subscribe down below. If you know anybody in the whiskey world that is interested in this content, go ahead and share it with them. If you know anything about Buffalo Trace Distillery, go ahead and leave those comments down below. If you are familiar with E.H. Taylor Small Batch, holy crap, I never even said that. This is E.H. Taylor Small Batch. They do an E.H. Taylor Single Barrel. This is the E.H. Taylor Small Batch, not the Single Barrel. I'm not very good at this job. Welcome to Whiskey is a Journey. Peter Fasciano here. We're still at Buffalo Trace Distillery, but this week's video is all about Colonel E.H. Taylor. Let's go ahead and pour it, nose it, taste it, and talk about it. E.H. Taylor, this guy was instrumental in passing the Bottle and Bond Act in 1897. And Bottle and Bond just means that the whiskey needs to be produced in a bonded warehouse. It needs to be produced in one distilling season. It needs to be bottled at at least 100 proof. And then it also needs to be aged at least four years. Now, the rumor is on this one is it's aged at least 11 years. So let's go ahead and give this a nose. All right, so right off the bat, this is apple juice. And when I say apple juice, there's still whiskey behind it. I'm still getting hit with this ethanol, but the apple juice is there. I'm also getting hint of some vanilla. And then on the very back end, a little bit of spice. Maybe this, maybe cinnamon. So like I said, 50% ABV. This is chill filtered. It is also natural color, like all straight bourbons need to be. Coming in at 40 bucks. If you can find it, I ended up getting this one off of Whiskey Exchange and it was around 80. Yeah, heavy on the spice. Still get those classic bourbon flavors or those bourbon aromas. Vanilla, apple juice. And the apple juice, don't get me wrong, is not like, you know, cracking open a container of apple juice in your refrigerator. This is coming in with an ethanol punch. And then just on the back end of that ethanol, you have hints of apple or the apple juice itself with a little bit of the cinnamon spice to it. So maybe an apple cider, like somewhere around Christmas time, uh, you end up having that hot apple cider. In a, and I think it's just apple juice with like red hot or cinnamon in it. And I think that's what uh, I'm getting here. Let's go and give it a taste. Whoa, well, hello. Yeah, this is definitely not 45% ABV. This is kicked up a little bit. <clears throat> definitely getting that burn in the chest. It's lingering around a little bit longer. I'm not getting the apple juice on the palate. That's all oak. That's all spice. That's the barrel tannin. Give it the, give me that, let me give that a taste again. Definitely ethanol. I mean, this is drinking a lot hotter than the 50%. That's all spice. I'm not getting the apple juice. I'm not getting that fruitiness. I'm not getting that vanilla. This is oak and spice. Oak and spice on the palate. Let me go ahead and give that another taste. Oak spice, a little bit of vanilla. Maybe on that back end, the fruity notes coming in. But these are drastically different nosing and tasting. On the palate, much, much different than the nose. On the nose, I just thought this was going to be fruity. I thought it was going to be very sweet, and it's not. It is <laughs> just the opposite. Yeah, On the nose, it's like, hey, this is going to be great. This is going to be all fruity. This is going to be sweet. And then you do like a, that's a right turn. You do a left turn, and it's all oak and spice. I need to put water in this, so let me go ahead and get a couple of drops in here. All right, so what do we know about the whiskey? Well, the name alone, the Colonel E.H. Taylor, this was named after... Edmund Haynes Taylor. He owned the Leestown Distillery, rechristened it, and named it the OFC Distillery, the Old Fire Copper Distillery, right outside Frankfurt. He owned it for a little bit, and then in the late 1870s, he came into some financial troubles and then had to sell to Gregory and Stagg, which I believe is the Stagg, the George T. Stagg Distillery name that was associated with this distillery. E. H. or Colonel E. H. Taylor was instrumental in passing the Bottled and Bond Act in 1897. And again, bottled and bond just means that the age of the whiskey has to be at least four years old. It has to be overseen in a federal warehouse. It has to be bottled at 100 proof, and it has to be distilled in one distillery during one distillery season. If I got any of that wrong, let me know in the comments down below. All right, 
the water on this didn't really seem like it changed it very much. If at all, I'm still getting that apple juice. I'm still getting the vanillas, a little bit of spice. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. All right, I got a musty, that, that first inhalation there, I get a, a musty funk to it. Still got the barrel tannin, still have the spice. I don't get any of that caramely, vanilla sweetness, apple sweetness there. Yeah, I'm, I get, I get dusty like wet, like wet cardboard. Wet cardboard, not that I'm chewing on wet cardboard. It just kind of has that musty uh, scent to it. It's not off-putting. It just uh, smells musty. Oh, on that finish, that's that's really drying. That kind of leaves my mouth uh, a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit dry there. Let's go ahead and give it another taste here. Mm hmm. As I'm getting that in there, I'm getting hit with that musty, that musty odor. Still all oaky, still spicy, still barrel tannin, long finish. I mean, it's you definitely know that it's there. That hunter proof is is uh, is really talking to you there, or at least it's talking to me at this particular time in, the, in my review. This is definitely not on the same path of Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare Ten. This is its own animal. This is the first time I'm actually getting those non-classic bourbon flavors. I really have to hunt for the vanilla. I really have to hunt for the caramel. I'm not getting any cherry. Let me taste that again. Oak, oak tannin, spice, ethanol. A little musty, a little musty note there. Maybe on the far, far, far back end, maybe I'm reaching for this. There is a little bit of a sweetness, but that ethanol, the barrel tannin, the spice is definitely the, the profile that I'm getting on this more so than the Buffalo Trace and the Eagle Rare 10. All right, let's go ahead and get on to the scoring on this. Because these are so much different, and I can see myself actually grabbing this over the Buffalo Trace and grabbing this over the Eagle Rare, well, I don't know. I don't think I would grab this over the Eagle Rare at times. This is difficult. Uh, this is kind of throwing me for a loop. I think I'm going to put this right at 3.95, just like I did with the Eagle Rare 10. Different paths, different on the nose, different on the palate. The proof is nice. It's 100 proof, 50% ABV. There's a time for this. And there's a time for Eagle Rare. And I think depending upon my mood, I would reach for either one of them. So I think this is definitely for me a mood-based whiskey. And for that, 3.95, same as Eagle Rare 10. That's amazing though. The, the nose and the palate are so much different. Like I mentioned, I'm getting apple juice. I'm getting the vanilla on the nose, a little bit of cinnamon. This has the water in it, so I'm definitely getting that mustiness. But on the palate, oak and spice. That's all oak and spice. That's going to do it for me. 3.95, definitely a mood whiskey, definitely different than the Eagle Rare 10 and the Buffalo Trace. So that's where I'm going to leave it. Enjoy your journey. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel and you're liking this information, subscribe down below. If you know anybody in the whiskey world that is interested in this content, go ahead and share it with them. If you know anything about Buffalo Trace Distillery, go ahead and leave those comments down below. If you are familiar with E.H. Taylor Small Batch, holy crap, I never even said that. This is E.H. Taylor Small Batch. They do an E.H. Taylor Single Barrel. This is the E.H. Taylor Small Batch, not the Single Barrel. I'm not very good at this job, but I'm trying. Anyway, enjoy your journey. We'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Do all those things that YouTubers tell you to do, but actually go through with it and actually do it. Talk to you guys later. Enjoy your journey. See you next time. Bye.